What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today in this Funko news, we do have an update on the new Bakugo Funko Pop from My Hero Academia. We have a ton of new chases popping up, as well guys as a ton of other Funko news of a lot of new pops coming soon and more. So let's check it out. Alright guys, so before we jump into this video, I want to tell you about today's video sponsor, Kraken's Collection. They bring you all kinds of cool Funko Pops, all kinds of cool fig pins, and other collectibles. They have all kinds of cool exclusives on their website right now, and even a ton of anime restocks for anything you might be looking for. They also do offer a mint guarantee and international shipping for my international collectors, so please check out the link down below and use my code SKITTLE10 to save 10%. Alright guys, so I'm sure most of you guys are here for Bakugo, as stated yesterday, which is fine. So I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Um, so Bakugo here, we actually did get an updated image from another Philippine store. Um, and this was sent to me by a user I'm checking right now on my Instagram. It's the big Joe over on Instagram. So thank you, Joe, if that's your name, Joe, thank you. Um, so essentially it is another store sharing this new Bakugo. But guys, they actually did share a back image glam of him in his winter suit, basically declaring that this is a new pop. This is a new variant of Bakugo, and he's going to be in his winter suit because why else would they put that exact picture and when there's plenty of other pictures? So this is actually pretty cool. A lot of people are confused as to why they would do another Bakugo variant versus other characters and things like that. And to my understanding, essentially, this is what I've like summed it down to and what I've seen a lot of people say is that it's easier to buy li uh, licenses to certain characters versus trying to buy all of them and spending all this money and then just making a bunch of variants of them. Yes, does it suck that we are not getting any of the other students and things like that? 100%. But at the end of the day, at least it's a new Bakugo going around of a very popular variant that a lot of people are going to be able to afford versus, you know, SDCC Bakugo still trending at about 75 bucks and up. Maybe a little bit less, but you guys get what I mean. Um, and basically it says it's a U.S. store exclusive also. So what that means, guys, is it's coming to the U.S. soon. And there is an ETA of August over on the Philippines site that it was selling from. It did actually sell out. But guys, do not worry. It was like 70 to $75 shipped to the state. So, I mean, you don't want to pay that much for a, a, an exclusive that's coming later on. Now, there are... Um, <clears throat> now, I highly expect this to come to one of the following stores, Hot Topic, Box Lunch, or GameStop. Probably Hot Topic or Box Lunch more I, because I've seen GameStop get some My Hero Academia. I think they've only gotten two My Hero Academia exclusives so far. And then Hot Topic has actually gotten a few. So, Maybe Hot Topic, that would be my best guess as well. Hot Topic or GameStop is really my best guesses. Um, but for the most part, guys, it's cool that it's coming to the U.S. They basically, another store that is going to probably get in stock is actually claiming that, hey, this is a U.S. exclusive. So stay tuned for that, guys. I would say don't buy any eBay pre-orders, anything like that, because you're just going to pay way more when it's going to be pretty common to Hot Topic. Obviously, it's going to be more sought after because it's Hot Topic exclusive and everybody knows where Hot Topic is. But for the most part, guys, you won't have to pay over $100 for this exclusive to get it sent here. It's really just if you're a sticker kind of person of where it originally was exclusive from, but it's essentially going to be shared to a U.S. retailer. So this is really awesome. Again, it says ETA August, but I'm pretty sure that is an actual placeholder date and not the real date. Maybe in August we'll see an actual glam of it. Um, and for anybody wondering if this place is actually a respectable site or anything like that, personally I haven't heard of them, but... It takes about a million dollars in sales to get your own exclusive, so I'd say they're pretty good at um, probably what they do or whatever if they've gotten a million dollars in sales to be able to get their own exclusive, especially something big like My Hero Academia. So I'd say they're pretty legit just from that alone. But any of my Philippines fans that have actually uh, shopped on this website, comment down below your experience. Are they good? Are they you know bad? I'd love to hear your personal opinions on this, but it is cool to get an update on Bakugo. So thank you again, Joe, for sending this information. Next up, guys, if you have not Yet, make sure to be checking your emails for the actual Funcon lottery emails to be able to enter into the actual lottery system to try to win a lottery spot. Um, I saw a lot of people saying they still didn't get their email. Sometimes it takes a little bit after, so just refresh your email, check your spam box, check your junk folder. Um, mine was in my promotion tab. That's where it always goes. As well, guys, as they are announcing the Fun Days winners today, so make sure to check your email also for that Fun Days email. It's literally going to say Funko News in the actual subject line and that's what you're going to be looking for. Um, and I will tell you guys over on Instagram if I win or not. I don't I don't really expect to win. I haven't won any of the previous ones. Would it be really awesome? Yes, it would, 1,000%. But for the most part, guys, make sure to be checking your emails. All right, guys, so also picking up from something that we talked about yesterday was all the accounts being 
banned and disabled by administrators and essentially not being able to log in and everything like that. Funko did actually finally address this and I was actually really surprised by this. They addressed it on their Twitter and in their Instagram story. This was actually pretty cool of them. Um, unfortunately, they're still actually trying to fix the situation. I saw them reply to a couple comments on Twitter and they did put an, a new um, Instagram post today saying they're still working on it. So this was their actual Twitter message. It says, Funko Fanatics, we are actively working on known issues with account settings such as login, verification, and more. This does not impact historical account information or convention lottery status. Please stay tuned for future updates as we quickly work to resolve this issue. So the only issue that I have with this is that how can it not affect the lottery at all, personally? Because it's like you can't log into your account and you need your account to be able to be verified so you can enter the lottery and get the emails in the first place. So it doesn't it have a direct correlation with that. That's really weird. I'm hoping it doesn't actually affect it like they're saying and there's some way around it. I don't know. But for the most part, guys, it seems weird that they say it doesn't affect the account when... I feel like it should. I feel like it like directly does affect it with the lottery because you need your account to be able to shop the lottery. I feel like that's kind of weird. I don't know. But for the most part, guys, they said they are trying to work on it actively and they actually did um, release an actual little guide thing on how to maybe reset your account. It says account verification Q&A and this was posted yesterday. It says in order to make a Funko.com as secure as possible, we are asking customers to verify their accounts. You may have noticed uh, some updates in your account verification process and password reset. Please follow the below the uh, steps to ensure your account is verified. Here's how to verify your account. Go to Funko.com slash login, enter your email and password, forgot your password, reset your password before you begin the process. You will receive the below notification. Essentially, that is the your account needs to be verified notification that everybody has not actually been getting. And some people still haven't been getting it even with this process that they were trying before even Funko even released this. So I'd say just keep trying. Um, I'd say probably be patient because I'm sure they have thousands upon thousands of emails actually coming in about this issue. And obviously, yes, the anticipation and the hype is much crazier right now because it is con time. If this was any other time, it probably wouldn't be as big of a deal, but it is lottery time and I'm sure a lot of people are upset, especially if you win the lottery and you're not able to shop it for some reason. Um, so that's gonna be a whole different thing. Anyways, guys, I don't feel like the lottery's off to a good start so far, but just stay tuned for those winner emails and hopefully you will still get the email even with your account being locked right now. And hopefully by the time the actual lottery does start, They'll have this all sorted out. For any Avatar fans, the Blue Spirit Mask Zuko did finally go live for sale on Hot Topic's website, which was cool. You did get a chance at the chase. It did sell out, but it'll probably go in stock um, again, most likely. As well, guys, as it should be hitting stores relatively within the next week or two. Um, I'd say just because typically an online release is followed by an in-store release later on. Luffy Taro just actually restocked recently and then followed with in-store releases, so... That's basically kind of what I'm basing it off of. So expect this one in stores pretty soon. We've seen it release already internationally, so it definitely is coming. Um, this one actually did have no original pre-order thing going on. It was just kind of a release at the same time it actually does go in stores. And that's what they actually said, which was weird. So you expect it to go in stores the next day almost or the same day, but I guess they changed it last minute. So were you able to get in anything on a hot topic for this one? Did you guys use hot cash on this? I believe it's still active. Um, oh man, I just realized I have hot cash. I should have went for this online. I didn't even think about that. Wait, did they allow hot cash? Because they definitely restrict some things sometimes. Anyways, guys, did you guys pick up yourselves a Blue Spirit Matsuko? Are you going for the chase? Let me know. Next up for the Simpsons fans, we did get a brand new Mr. Burns Chase Pops, which is a pre-ex previews exclusive and glow in the dark. So essentially, there's, it's a little confusing in this actual glam that Funko shared. So we have a normal one where he's yellow, and then we have the translucent one, which is just a, a variant, I guess. It's like a glow variant. And then we do have the non-translucent one, basically like a green version of him. And then we do have a translucent glow in the dark chase. So there are four variants of this pop, which is different. I don't know if they've ever done something like this. That's a lot though. And that's hard. I mean, at least they're all different for the most part, which is good. They're not just slightly different. They're all significantly different other than, you know, the chase and the uh, translucent one. They're, you know, ones that glow, obviously. But for the most part, guys, four different pops of the same thing and thing. I don't, I personally never seen this. If you can comment down below another pop that they've done this to. Um, it's cool. I think the glow is going to be awesome on it, especially the translucent one. Excited to see that. I haven't watched The Simpsons in years. I just want to see what the glow looks like. But did you order one? Comment down below. Next up guys, for any Loki fans, we actually do have an out of box look at a few of the commons, which actually looks really cool. So this credit goes to TP 
Piani. Is that how you say your name on Instagram? Um, these look great. We have Rivana and Miss Minutes there. Uh, we have... Um, ah, Sylvie, and then we also do have a kid Loki with the actual gator and his sword in his hand. These look great. I absolutely love how Sylvie looks and Miss Minute as well. I was really hoping to get a Miss Minutes pop like standalone because she was very creepy in that last episode. Let's be honest. Um, but pretty solid. And then guys, we also do have an inbox look at a few of them and even alligator Loki, which looks awesome. So we have Sylvie, the Walmart exclusive glow in the dark one, President Loki, which I really want that President Loki. We have Mobius, Kid Loki, and then Alligator Loki on the bottom there. I kind of want Alligator Loki. I kind of think we might have to get it because Bailey wants it as well. This is a solid set. It really is. Um, absolutely love the show. Can't wait for season two. If you have not watched yet, what are you doing? Make sure to go watch it. Um, but I absolutely love how the pops turned out. Next up, guys, for any of the Infinity Warps fans, the Target exclusive Glow in the Dark Iron Hammer is starting to hit stores. So I believe they did release a Glow in the Dark variant over at Walgreens. And this one is where he is holding the hammer in one hand, and the Walgreens one was two hands. Unfortunately, it's not that different, but it is still a cool pop overall. So make sure to check out your local targets. Um, so the credit goes to Marvel Kicks One over on Twitter. And if you check your local Walmart, you might actually see a Walmart exclusive snake eyes with um timber floating around which is actually a funko shop exclusive that went live a couple weeks ago before the movie went um you know came out kind of funny um essentially this happens a lot where they kind of just slap walmart exclusive stickers sometimes on the most random pops that aren't walmart exclusives um so the credit goes to zh funko disney and disc trackers on instagram thank you for this this is so funny. And then they even have the commons um over there the walmart that are not walmart exclusives i'm pretty sure as well they just stat they slap that sticker on everything. I don't know how this got mixed up, but it's pretty funny. Over at Target, guys, they did actually list their Funkon 2021 Funko Pops on the website. Not available for pre-order yet, uh, but you can probably expect them to go live maybe randomly at this rate, because why else list them early? Um, so we do have Falcon, we have Shockwave, Bulbasaur, and Deathstroke there. So they actually are listed at $14.99, as you guys can see. And again, I'm assuming they're probably going to go live for pre-order before the actual date, because they typically do go live for pre-order half the time, and then they end up in stores half the time, kind of like this. Um, this was from Dish Trackers as well, George on Facebook. Um, Imperial Palace Deathstroke is already hitting stores, and you've actually seen a couple of these over on Mercari already, um, and you can buy one for like 50 bucks and like 45 bucks on eBay if you want one early, if you want to guarantee yourself one and spend like a little bit triple just about uh but for the most part uh guys this is nothing new it's just always funny to see these exclusives at target his stores early every single year <laughs> never stops every single year also coming to target guys we do actually have the funko pop marvel black light black panther pop and tea coming to target over on august 8th it should be hitting stores which is actually pretty cool this is probably part of one of their little summer um release things of their little target con new thing going on um this is pretty cool though. I, I'm very, very excited for this Black Light, Pan Black Panther pop and tea. Going to be just as popular as the Venom one, most likely. Depending on what, I wonder what mold they're going to use. I'm, they're definitely going to use a mold. They already did a glow in the dark tea bundle. Uh, not too long. Well, no, no, that was actually like three years ago. Now that I think about it, I think that was back in 2018. Um, but for the most part, guys, stay tuned for Black Panther, supposed to be coming August 8th. Next up, guys, we do actually have an in-box look at the GameStop exclusive Soundwave with tapes. Um, essentially, he does actually have interchangeable tapes, which that's really cool. Like, you see you see detachable pieces, kind of like uh, Silver Surfer with Galactus and a few other pops they've done this with. But to have interchangeable tapes in the actual pop itself that you can trade out, I think that's so cool. That's unique. I, I personally haven't seen that like on a pop before and that's really awesome to me i'm not a big transformers fan but i just found that detail really really unique all right guys over on pop freaks instagram he teased and rumored saying there might be a pokemon blacklight pikachu coming soon oh my gosh are pokemon collectors and everybody gonna go nuts for this pikachu everybody's gonna want this this is nuts if this actually turns out to be true um like i said it's just a rumor at the end of the day but i wanted to share it with you guys this is crazy Black Light Pikachu, wow. <laughs> That's gonna be great. Next up guys, I wanted to reshare this list of Dragon Ball Super Pops just to kind of remind people that, hey, these are possibly still coming soon as well. And for anybody who probably didn't watch the you know, original Funko News that I talked about these in. I didn't really highlight them in the thumbnail or anything like that. Um, so it says, this is from Funko News underscore over on Instagram, pop animation, Dragon Ball Super, 10 inch Goku with Scythe. And this is supposed to be the Goku Black for anybody wondering as um, 
Rosé. Uh, then we also do have Pop Animation Dragon Ball Super Kale. Didn't we get a Kale Pop already? Interesting. Uh, Pop Animation Dragon Ball Super Trunks Sword of Hope, which is cool. Uh, then we do have Shin and we have Jiren with power. So essentially when he was fighting off against Goku, Ripped Shur, Max Power, Jiren essentially. Uh, solid list for Dragon Ball Super. I am excited. I think I might want the Trunks, Jiren, and uh, Shin, and maybe the 10-inch Goku Black. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely Jiren, definitely Shin, and Trunks. Kale, depending on how it looks, if it's significantly different, I'll pick it up, but I don't really need another Kale, and I don't really care for Kale, to be honest. <laughs> maybe in Berserk, she'll look cool as a pop. We'll see. Maybe maybe they'll do Berserk. Uh, but for the most part, guys, pretty solid list for Dragon Ball Super. Comment down below, what are you most excited about? Next up for my Five Nights at Freddy's fans, guys, Funko did release a new 16-inch plushie here uh, from the Pizzeria Simulator here. I haven't played a Five Nights at Freddy's games in years. I actually... I think I have a video still up when I originally was a gaming channel. I think I still have a video up of Five Nights at Freddy's that I played one of their games. And my voice just cracked. And yeah, you guys can go check out that little hidden gem if you'd like. I'm not gonna, you have to find it. But for the most part, guys, you can pre-order it over at GameStop if you want to pick this up. All right, guys, so that was a little bit of Funko news today that I wanted to share with you guys. A little bit of updates on Bakugo. We also did have the Zuko Chase possibly coming soon in stores. Just an online release recently. As well as the new Mr. Burns Chase, which was cool. We have some Dragon Ball Super potential Pikachu Blacklight, which is going to be crazy. A little bit of an update on the fun days, lottery, and account situations. Again, make sure to be checking your emails. Those, at the time of me making these videos, they should actually be coming out within the next hour or two. Um, so I'm excited to see if I've won the fun days lottery. Uh, really hoping I do because, I don't know, it's just fun. I want to I wanna do a fun video for it. Uh, but anyways, guys, comment down below. What are you most excited about um, that I showed off in this Funko news? Is there anything you picked up recently? I'd love to hear from you guys, so please comment down below. However, guys, I do want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting me and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate and love you guys for it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, link is always down below. A lot of cool things going on over there, and we even do have a Patreon-only Discord where a lot of information is also shared. I also want to tell you guys, make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends as well as be following my social medias instagram twitter and tiktok all at skittle rampage all right i love you guys see you guys in the next one see you guys later bye